2. A publisher checks a document for errors. He records the number of documents that are checked each day and he also records the total number of errors in the documents each day. And you've got a graph. So on the x-axis you've got the number of documents checked and on the y-axis you've got the number of errors. On another day, 90 documents are checked, 17 errors. Show this on the graph. So you want to go across to 90 documents being checked, which is along here, and up to 17 errors. So if this is 10, um, now be very careful with the scale. Each little square is not 1, because if, if it was, it would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whereas 15 is here. Each double square is 1. Okay, so if you want 17 errors, you're going to need to go up 4 squares, so it would be along here. Okay, so what you're going to do, uh, the best way to do this is to probably just draw a line up. You get your ruler out like that and then draw a line over here where it's 17 and that would be the point. Okay, so you would mark that in with a cross. So you'd use your ruler to do that. Probably don't bother drawing ruler lines and you would mark it in like that. Describe the correlation between the number of documents checked and the total number of errors. Now remember the three types you need and the three types of correlation. So if they are that, that type of thing, okay, if they are going up as they go from left to right, then you call that a positive correlation. Okay, if they are going down as they go from left to right, you would call that a negative correlation. And if there is no discernible pattern, so it just looks quite random, they're not having any pattern as I've said, so that type of thing, then you would say no correlation or zero correlation, okay, or zero correlation. Okay, so looking at that, that looks generally like quite a, po a positive one. Yeah, they're a bit spread out, but it's generally going up as you go from left to right. So the word you would say in here is, describe the correlation, well, you would call, call it a positive correlation. Okay, and then one day, 110 documents are checked, right? Estimate, it's key here, estimate. Estimate the number of total errors in that document. Now, in order to be able to estimate that, you're going to you're going to read up from 110 uh, documents being checked. So you're going to need a line coming up from 110, which is like that. Now, that line doesn't go through any point. So you need a line of best fit. Now, a line of best fit tries to go through as many of these as possible with the same number on, on top as on bottom. Okay, so I'm, I'll make that a little thinner like that. So here we're going through one, there's one, two, three, four, five below, there's one, two, three, four, five above and two on. So that's a pretty good line of best fit. So how do you use the line of best fit? Well 110 documents, you draw a line up to your line of best fit and then you read across. So you read across here and to me it looks like that's 19. Okay, so that's 19 errors on the document. So you would just write down here that the answer is equal to 19.